Hello, 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 Tonal community. Happy Wednesday. I am Kate, your community manager. Let me know you're here. Type a little something in the comment box. Tell me what the best thing that happened to you all day was. What was the highlight of your day? I want to hear it. Let's spread a little positivity tonight. Um, I'm going to pin this to the top of the group so everyone can find it and let people trickle in before we get started. A few announcements that I'm sure Sure you all know about. We now have bar and kickboxing classes on Tonal. So check those out. We have four units of each for boxing or for kickboxing, for bar. We've got Coach Gabby, Coach Francis leading those. Um, I haven't tried them yet. So if you have, tell me which one I should try in the comments and maybe I'll do that tonight. I was gonna do Pilates tonight, but maybe I'll try a bar. I don't know, I'm a little scared. <laughs> Um, in addition, many of you saw yesterday, we launched virtual group workouts. This is a super fun feature. Try it out. Get a couple of friends together. I've been loving seeing how people are organizing workouts with posts or subgroups. It's super fun to see. Um, yeah, get a few friends together. Pick a time. Pick a workout. It might be easier if you just decide, hey, everyone, we're going to do 8 a.m. We're going to do this workout. Who wants to come um, and then you can see who trickles in um, but yeah let us know what you think of that feature and if you want anything different about, about it let us know in feedback friday you know we're always listening and our engineers are just waiting to hear what you all have to say so with that my guest tonight is someone very special in the community who you might recognize from her very positive posts and her positive attitude and her impressive strength games. She is a wife, a mother to three children, and a grand grandmother to five beautiful grandchildren. She is a woman of many strengths, and she's worn many hats. Uh, she's been a nurse, a CPA, an attorney, and she now owns her own real estate business. When she's not busy selling real estate in Alabama or at the beach in Florida or whipping up new recipes in the kitchen, she can be found increasing her strength score on Tonal. Uh, please help me welcome Debbie Mestre. Hey, Debbie. Hello. How are you doing today? I'm awesome. I'm at the beach. I know. That sounds wonderful. Where, where are you exactly? We're in Seaside. If you ever saw the movie The Truman Show. That's where it was filmed. Well, it looked beautiful based on the photos behind you of your family. Well, thank you. Those are <laughs> old. Those are my children, and they now have children. Oh, wow. I thought those were the grandkids. Nope. Yeah, we got to take those. The real new one. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining me this evening. Um, I was so excited to have you on. I want to pull up just some of your posts here. Um, you've been posting amazing photos like this in the community for a few months now, super inspiring, um, encouraging other people to hop on Tonal and to give it a try. And so I wanted to share your story tonight about how you started training at the young age of 67 on Tonal, which is incredible. Um, so can you please just start by telling us how you came to find out about Tonal and what inspired you to even purchase Tonal? Um, what inspired both my husband and I was, uh, and I posted one day, I got up one day and I said, what's that on my leg? Oh, that's my butt. Um, and I thought it was inevitable because all you ever hear is gravity, gravity. I wore, you know, sleeves always. I never went sleeveless because I didn't like, you know, the back and forth of the lack of the tricep. So I was but we travel and i felt uncomfortable in wedges mm -hmm. and i could no longer lift my suitcase up into the overhead bin and i'm like this is silly it's time to do something about it and lo and behold gravity is not the issue it's lack of use mm. and i mean i'm i am my son likes to a saying it is what it is I hate that saying I'm like and it will be for so long as you allow it to be yes Morgan are you listening that's her least favorite saying of all time I hate that it's saying change it take ownership as the coach action Jackson would say take action change something if you don't like it yep and you did that's been my mantra I love it and so before so, oh, go ahead so we were actually here at the beach and I mentioned that I wanted to get, um, at the time I'd heard of the mirror mm -hmm. 
and I mentioned it to my daughter-in-law and she said, why don't you check out Tonal? I said, I've never heard of it. And so I did. And within six weeks, we had it ordered and in place. And we've not looked back. Don't, and I'll tell you. don't tell people in here who are waiting more than that for their tonals. Well, and I keep probably not a good plan. What what made you choose? Um, what made you go with tonal over mirror when you were debating the two? Well, we had already bought hydro, mm -hmm. so I was getting the cardiac out of it. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I just feel like mirror is more, more cardiac. Yeah. And I wanted the, I wanted, um, I wanted to not worry about falling. I wanted to uh, increase my balance mm -hmm. and I wanted my arms to come back. Yeah. And, and I didn't think I was going to get that on mirror. Yeah, absolutely. And I will tell you, my husband for 10 years had been going with a group doing a private lesson with a group mm -hmm. and I could see no difference. His legs look great. His arms look pretty good, but his core and he walked like an old man. His posture was awful. And what if I could hug Jackson around the neck, he has done so much for his posture. He looks 20 years okay. younger. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Is he in the community? Do I know him? Um, are you on? community on uh, Facebook. I think so. He thinks so. All right, we gotta get, we gotta get him posting. <laughs> he doesn't do much. Awesome. And what about you? Had you done any strength training before tonal? Uh, I did bar for two years. Mm -hmm. Pure bar, which is a syndication, and I liked it initially, but it was a bunch of. 20 somethings that you could flip a quarter on their butt and they just every six weeks they would change the program and they would try to break you and okay. I wasn't there to try to be broken I wanted to to be able to do yeah. and then they turned the fans off and made it hot like a hot yoga and I was all done you're like I gotta bring this into my home where I can blast the air conditioning. And I didn't do anything for five years then. Okay. So, yeah. I mean, and when I, literally, when I lay down to do the um, assessment, uh -huh. my husband was in there with me because he had just done it. So he was showing me what to do. And when I got ready to push my left arm up, I thought, dang, did I have a stroke? And somebody forget to tell me? I could not, with with no weight on, I could not lift my left arm straight up. Lying wow, so you had some really uh, massive imbalances between your left and right side. Mm -hmm. Do you know why that was? No idea. Yeah. None. And so probably because the only thing I ever did was my right hand, which is dominant. Yeah. I'm not yep. saying I was doing just, a lot with it either. Right. But just day to day chores and moving around, you're just using your right mm -hmm. hand and then your left hand is left to get a little bit weak. Yep. And so it, I mean, um, I'm not exaggerating. It was in the 70s. And it would have been score. much lower, except my core was in the 90s. It was the highest. There we go. Yeah. And then so so now how did you get how did you start training on tonal? What was that like? What did you do? What program did you get into? How many days a week did you train? Like for someone who's listening, who is in your position that you were in when you started on tonal, let's tell them what you did. I spent as much time looking at the videos as I did actually exercising because I didn't mm -hmm. want to learn to do it wrong. Mm -hmm. And it often took me a long time to set it up. You know, they've got it set up and, you know, poor Pablo's done 20 reps and I'm not even in the game yet. And so, <laughs> Or I didn't feel it pull where I thought it should be pulling. Mm -hmm. And thank you again for the muscle map. I love that. But um, and so I would go in and, and watch and see what the difference was between a deadlift and a sumo lift and a, uh, I mean, a sumo squat and, and um, a goblet squat and just try to discern all the differences. Mm -hmm. And, you know, ignorance is bliss. I had no idea what any of these moves were. None. And so I just signed up for get in and get out. 
Look, sure, I'll um, do it. You know, Jackson showed no mercy, but it no, never does. They were all less than 30 minutes. I'm like, I can stand on my head for 30 minutes. And so I did it. And then I did, I did one of Liz's. And then lo and behold, I got into Nicolette's making muscle one, two, three. Mm -hmm. Um, and now I'm doing Jackson's, um, oh, and I did one with Natalie. Natalie will slap kill you. Yeah. She seems really unassuming, but uh -huh. don't let that bubbly personality uh -huh. fool you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> off the tonal more than on it. I'm like, girlfriend, I got to have something left for when I get to the tonal. That's very true. <laughs> but now I'm doing get in and get out again just because of the timing. And how's the experience of going through that program a second time now? Because that was your first program and now you're, what, seven months into your tonal experience? We're actually, this is my ninth program. Okay. And... I'm doing it again and some days I'm really good and some days I'm not so good and I feel like I'm using the right muscles now and you know some of how I got through it the first time was letting other muscles compensate yeah and now I don't do that mm -hmm. and so it's actually a little bit harder on some of the moves mm -hmm. um but, you know, learning to use your lats and not just your arms and that sort of thing. But it's really cool to to see the differences um, between January and September, October. That's amazing. What uh, features on Tonal have helped you now know, OK, don't use my arms, use my lats or use my core here or use my glutes there? How did you learn that? Well, the coaches are really good, but sometimes they don't say something or I don't hear it until like the fourth set of reps. And mm -hmm. I'm like, well, dang, that would have been helpful, you know, <laughs> um, which again is why I like the videos because they, they walk you through it and you know, so I like now that they show what muscles to use, I like to touch them with the first set of reps yeah. and make sure they're engaged. So smart. Love that. Well, if I'm going to get in there and do it, I just soon do it right. Yep, absolutely. And you touch me, but I'm still puny. I mean, don't don't anybody get excited. I am. I mean, I'm only in the 200s, the low 200s. But like today, we took a bike ride that I took in December, having just done hydro, and so I was able to do the cardio. But today, not only was the cardio easier my quads never screamed and uh, and we were on a cruiser bike and like like i said it's um it's pretty much flat but there are hills and it was 93 degrees and humid so i i was proud that's awesome and i want to touch on a few things that you you mentioned you said you weren't sure how to do a move. You weren't sure how to get set up on tonal. Um, and you weren't sure what muscles you should be using. And that is the exact feedback that our engineers use to create features like form feedback and muscle util utilization and arm position indicators. So I hope that you've been using those features. It sounds like you don't need them anymore. But um, now I think it's great. It, it's, it would be great for anyone who's just starting out now who wouldn't. Oh, absolutely. Have Especially the arms, because you look at it and you're like, do they have them swung out a little bit or are they straight? It'll, it'll help lots. Yeah. Absolutely. Lots. And this community was awesome. I mean, I could not do a resisted dead bug. Mm -hmm. I mean, my arm would go over my head and it was not coming back up. There was no, <laughs> not happening. Oh, my arm. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I put on there, I'm having problems. And the next thing you know, Jackson jumps in and other people that are having issues jump in and everybody's giving me a hack of something to do in the meantime. Um, so I'm not somebody who needs inspiration, like mm -hmm. talk and that sort of thing, but I can, I can get all over the help part of it. Mm -hmm. But if this community didn't exist and no one was going to see me, I've still got the motivation to go downstairs and do it because it's not about vanity. It's about yeah. being the best I can be going into 
you know, the twilight years. I love that. And so what changes in your body have you experienced oh, now that God. you're nine months in? Well, I was convinced that I could weigh 60 pounds and would still have a roll around the bottom of my waistline. I mean, gravity, you know, because that's what they tell you. No, it's fat. And when you when you work out, you get rid of the fat and you don't have that roll anymore. Um, so circumference of bra size went down. I mean, I have no fat on my back now. And when, when Jackson does his arm circles, mm -hmm. you can see inside his shirt and you can count all his ribs. <laughs> I can do that now. Okay. Um, my quads, at first I started getting bigger mm -hmm. and I was like, mm, I'm not sure I like that look. But then between the hydro and this, they have leaned out. Yep. Awesome. I, I mean, I'm wearing shorts again. And I won't wear them, you know, except at the beach or riding a bike or something. But um, I'm not going to wear them shopping or something. But <laughs> yeah, it's cool. And how about your balance? Amazing difference. I love that. That's so important for anyone, but especially going into those golden years where falls are huge um, causes of injury. And so being able to have better balance and stability can decrease your rate of injury. Well, you know, people think of mid age, middle age as like 45, 50. And I got a news flash. Middle age is like 36, 38, because most people die in their 70s. Mm. Don't want to depress anybody, but that's the reality. And so if you're hitting 50, you're, you're starting that crawl toward the cliff. And to me, you know, as you lose your hormones with menopause and what have you, tonal is the very best thing for bone density, for muscle mass, for balance. I mean, I just can't sing its praises enough. And the other day we were somewhere and I tripped on something like um, an umbrella was in the sand and it stuck out and I tripped and it sent me forward and I stayed on my feet. And my son said, mom, there was a time you would have fallen. Good job. Wow. wow. So they're even noticing. Wow. Well, I wanted to bring this up actually in this post, you mentioned um, Best of all, my son jumped up to open my oversized beach umbrella. This is when you're on vacation in Florida, I'm assuming, uh, for me and saying, Mom, you aren't going to be able to lift that. Even though even the cabana guys have a heavy lift on that umbrella. And up that puppy went, you did it. He was stunned and so impressed. Oh, I, it made my day to be able to go, you know. <laughs> Mom just got it going on. <laughs> That's awesome. And then you also mentioned in this post, um, like lifting your your suitcase in the overhead compartment by yourself. Like that's something that I personally, like I love to travel and I travel by myself. I've traveled the world by myself and I want to be able to lift my own suitcase up over the, up over into the overhead compartment. So that was something I really connected with you on. Yeah. I mean, it's the daily activities of living. Mm -hmm. Now I see all the time on here will doing total help me lose weight. And what I say to my husband all the time is no amount of lifting, spinning, rowing will outrun your fork. It's a good way to put it. And, you know, you, you've got to, to work on both and, and he's lost 20 pounds doing this. Wow. Oh, he's a cutie patootie. He really is. I I got to see him. You got to well, get him out with, um, with all the grandkids. But okay. years ago, again, you get this, you're going to have gravity and you're going to get middle age spread and on and on. And what I, what I would say to people is pick your weight on a Monday mm -hmm. and say, I am never going to be bigger than I am today. And then what I do is I have my, my perfect body weight and I've had that weight since I was in my thirties. And it's actually the weight that I was when I went to nursing school. 
and I'm allowed two pounds up or two pounds below because you don't want to go the other way either. So on the weekends, every flipping weekend, I put on one or two pounds because, you know, we eat. And then on Monday, it's time to get it off. And mm -hmm. I just think if people could think I only have two pounds instead of 20, it will motivate them and help them achieve their goals. Yep. At any age. Yeah, that's true. And what would you say about people who start strength training and maybe the scale actually does go up because now they're building muscle, but the, their clothes are fitting better and they're feeling stronger and they're looking like they're looking, they're liking what they look, see in the mirror. I would not worry about clothes size. I think strength looks better than a number any day. Yeah. And truth told, I mean, back in the day, I wore a size six or eight. Today, I wear that same size, but they call it a two or a four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sizes are just all over the place, truly. Yep. <laughs> yep. Um, as strong as beautiful. I don't care what size. Absolutely. Um, so what are some of your fitness goals now that your, your strength score, you've been on tonal for nine programs, your strength scores in the 200s. Where do you want to take it? Well, I want to hit 250 just because that's the um, high range of average. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I'm not trying to be somebody that's a 400. If I push too hard, I know me, I'll quit. Mm -hmm. To keep it manageable, keep mm -hmm. yourself motivated. And and don't hurt myself. Yeah, that's huge. Mm -hmm. That's That's the biggest thing to me is to always... Now I want I want to feel um, soreness. Mm -hmm. I want to know that I worked out, but I don't want to not be able to work out because I hurt something. Yeah, by either doing it too heavy or too many times or wrong. Yeah, you know, lose your your train of thought and do that deadlift with your back instead of your your legs. And yeah. I did that one time and. Hmm, I remember. <laughs> and like you said, your goal isn't to be PRing on every lift, but it's to feel better in your day to day life and to have that strength moving forwards and to increase that bone density and all those other benefits we talked about. Well, again, and I'm talking to the people that are in their 50s and 60s. People who break a hip in their 70s and 80s, that's usually the beginning of the spiral down. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine, you know, you can ride Peloton all day long, but that's not, that's not weight bearing. Right. You've got to get your weight bearing in. And so that was the whole reason for the tonal, mm -hmm. you know, hydro was not weight bearing. I wanted weight bearing. Yep. Mirror, not weight bearing. You need that, nope. that resistance. And I was not going to go to a gym. I'll pay not to go, but I was not going to go. And I knew that. So mm -hmm. uh, many years I have paid and not gone. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I thought, well, why not pay and have it in the house? Yeah. It's it's different if it's right there, you roll out of bed, you know, you see it every time you walk by. There's no excuses. You can always get a short 10, 15 minute workout in no matter what. And I just work out in shorts and a t-shirt and tennis shoes. And so I, I put them on, even though I'm thinking I'm not going to do it today. Mm, I'm probably not going to have time. I'll put them on and... Um, you know, then if you have one minute of, I think I can, you can run down and do it before you change your mind. Yeah, absolutely. I think we mentioned something about squats with Jackson. You had a moment where you were like, I'm, I don't want to do this. And then you just went in and 45 squats later, you were out. <laughs> he, the man is a beast. What can I say? <laughs> Debbie, you're getting a little cut off. Do you want to tilt your screen a little bit forward? There we go. Which way did I go? Yep. Yeah, great there you go. Perfect. Perfect. Um, so I want to hear if you have just one piece of advice, one takeaway for someone who is nervous to start. They think it's their time for strength training is behind them. Um, what is one thing you would tell them? The machine accommodates anybody at any point in their strength process. I mean, seriously, my arms were in the 60s, people. Um, 
if I can do it, anybody can do it. I love that. And I just, and, and you've got a whole community that will push you through it. We're here for you. We, I always like to say our, your success is our success. Truly. I mean, we are here to help you be your strongest every single way, mentally, physically, emotionally, um, and just to live your best life. Because when we're our strongest, we are our best selves is, is what we believe. And I, I'm glad that we've been able to help you in that way. Oh, it is life changing. And you have been a huge source of inspiration in our community. So I just wanted to say thank you for that. I love seeing, I have a notification from Debbie pop up because I know it's <laughs> going to make me smile. We try. <laughs> um, I, I just want everybody to feel like they can do. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Because they can. Well said. Um, what does it mean for you to be your strongest? Um, I don't know that I'm my strongest, but if every day I'm stronger than I was the day before, I feel like I'm pressing pause uh, on that timeline or that continuum because you know, the reality is our best days are behind us in terms of um, getting better. Uh, I, Maybe like being at your peak, if that's what you're saying. Right, right. You know, at a certain point, you start that, that decline. And I want to press pause as long as possible mm -hmm. so that you know, my mother is 88. She goes to work every single day. I mean, you um, own business and you're still running it day in and day out. She runs her own real estate company in Virginia, wow. 88. That's incredible. And that's another thing. And we haven't talked about that, but you know, my husband's a physician and, and he talks all the time about the studies that, that say that, um, working out so many times a week how many times a week uh, an hour a day five times a week an hour a day five times a week will ward off uh mental issues and wow. um That's you know so dementia true. and and what have you so it's not just physical health but it's mental health too absolutely and and like you said you know the sooner you start the sooner you're going to hit that pause button and the sooner you're going to start getting benefits the longer you wait, the harder uphill battle it's going to be to get going. I mean, I saw a woman the other day that ran, um, it was a small marathon. It wasn't a full marathon. It was a partial. And um, she didn't start running until she was 100. Stop it. Mm -hmm. That's I'm incredible. Like, yeah, I don't want to do that to my joints, but <laughs> that's impressive. I need to talk to her. <laughs> yeah. So... It's never too late. Nope. I love it. Thank you so much, Debbie. If anyone has any questions for Debbie, let us know in the comments. Um, Debbie, what's your next workout going to be? I don't know. I'm kind of a cheat now because I'll look at it and I'll go, hmm, yeah, Bulgarian split squats. Mm -hmm. Keep looking. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> or, oh, this one's 48 minutes keep looking and it like I said ignorance was bliss because before i just chose one um it would come up and say recommended for you based on your fitness goals and i'd say well they know best and mm -hmm. so i may go back to that so that i quit cheating well we should do a virtual workout together oh my god <laughs> i'm gonna challenge you to one i'm gonna challenge your husband too get him over here <laughs> He gets up at 4.30 in the morning. Okay, never mind. Mm -hmm. And he does Peloton religiously. I will not get on Peloton. I hate it. <laughs> Spinning is not my game. Not my thing either. So he does that. And then he either gets on the hydro or the tonal every single day. Go hubby. That's awesome. So um, I love that you guys share that and you have that in common. But, but we don't do it at the same time. I don't want to know 4.30 in the morning exists. No, I'm good. No. I love that. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll just play We have on. some questions here. Um, Morgan oh. wants to know what your favorite move on tonal is. Oh, no, I think you're a little bit frozen. 
I'm going to try to refresh. And we're back. Oh no, did we lose Debbie? Please hold, we'll get Debbie back. Here we go. Uh-oh. Debbie, are you with us? We send her a message. <laughs> Technical difficulties, this is the age we live in. It's connection, not perfection, right? Um, well, we can try to get Debbie back. Um, we have some questions. Morgan asked, what's your favorite move? How to, how to adjust as you are getting started if you can't do a move? That's a great question, Danielle. Um, yeah, <laughs> I know, Morgan, we got to find this answer. Let's see if, we, if she responded to me. I've never lost a guest before. This is sad. Well, we might have to uh, save that those questions for later and have Debbie respond in the comments. Uh, I'm not able to get her back, unfortunately, but um, I'll make sure she answers your questions. Um, Debbie, thank you so much for being with us tonight. If you can get back in, feel free to join. Um, I'll message you later so that we can connect. It was a absolute pleasure having you on. I'm so grateful that you are in our community and you are inspiring us every single post and every single day. So thank you, Debbie. Um, as for Tonal Talk, we have Gino Mallow coming on next month, uh, next week. You might recognize him from his posts in the community. He has some incredible bodybuilding photos that he's posted. Oh, we're getting Debbie back. I don't know what happened. She's back. There Hi. we go, Debbie. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what happened. All good. That's, you know what, this is, this is just the age we're living in. Um, so Morgan asked what your favorite move on tonal is. I like the, um, single leg, um, you know, where you do one leg, you bring it up in the air in the back as you go down single leg. Are you, not, are you standing or are you on the ground? You're standing and as you lower the weight, one leg comes up behind you. Oh, RDL. So like yes. this. Right yes. Doing like this. I love that. It's so good yeah, for balance. Awesome. Yep. That's an awesome one for balance. Very, very true. That's a good one. Okay. Um, Danielle asks, how do you adjust as you're getting started if you can't do a move? Like what did you do? Did you swap any moves or what did you do? Like if it's, um, let's say you're trying to do a bench curl and you can't do it standing. Your core just isn't helping sit down, mm -hmm. sit on the bench. Um, let's say some other things I've done with the resisted dead bug. I didn't go as far back with mm -hmm. my arm uh, because to this day, I still can't do that one the way I'm supposed to. Um well, that's the good thing about tonal. The first two reps, it's learning your own unique range of motion so that it can track from there. So even if, you know, I might go back a different degree, if you go back that degree, it's personalized to you so that it knows like, okay, that's Debbie's range of motion. Yeah. And what I would say is don't beat yourself up because there are moves yeah. you can do that somebody else can't. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I am flex. I'm, I'm Gumby. When you don't have any muscle, you're, mm -hmm. you're very flexible. Yeah, uh, I can still do splits, but but um, can't do resisted dead bugs. So there you go. <laughs> we all have our strengths and weaknesses. <laughs> Mine is not splits. That's for sure. <laughs> um, OK, we have. Yep. OK, awesome. We got all the questions in. Um, Debbie, I don't know if you saw it because uh, you were having technical difficulties, but I just said thank you so much for being here, for being part of our community, for being such a ray of light in our community and such an inspiration to people of all ages, but especially folks who are nervous to start strength training or they think that they can't. Um, you are living proof that you can and that it's good for you and that everyone should pick up some weights, some digital weights and be their strongest. So thank you. Well, and if you're on the fence about this versus free weights, 
it it's just so different to have someone there telling you what to do, watching them do it and encouraging you. Yeah. And you can get into positions a lot easier. Just click it on and you just have those one pound on increments. So you don't have to go up by five, 10 pounds. That's too much for a lot of people in a lot of moves. Right. Yeah. Indeed. So perfect. And you don't have to worry about dropping something on a toe. There you go. Don't have to worry about driving to the gym. Don't have to worry about other people sweating on you. <laughs> we could go on and on. <laughs> Indeed. Well, again, thank you so much, Debbie. I will see you in the community um, and I will chat with you later. So thank you for letting me share with, with folks about what they can be. Thank you for sharing and uh, tell your husband, thank you for letting us steal you for a little bit. <laughs> oh, he's <laughs> reading. He's happy. Happy. <laughs> Enjoy the beat. Get some sun <laughs> for us. You. Bye bye. Thank you. And <laughs> Thank you, Debbie. So for everyone else, next week's tonal talk will be with Gino Mallow. He is a. If you search his name in the group, he is a all natural bodybuilder who trained exclusively on tonal for his recent competitions. You should see his pictures. They're incredible. So we're gonna chat with him about how he got into bodybuilding, um, how he used tonal to hit his goals and to win his competitions. So be sure to tune in next Wednesday. And then the next two Wednesdays are a surprise. I can't tell you, but you're going to love them. Okay. Good night, everyone. Have a great evening. Also, one last thing, I'm going to be doing a virtual group workout tomorrow morning. Be on the lookout for the code. I'm going to share it in the group. Um, Mike Curry, our social media manager, and I will be doing a virtual group workout, and we'd love for you to join. So be on the lookout for that code, 9.30, 8.30 a.m. Pacific time. Okay. Good night, everyone.